Well, Santa will be making his round shortly and soon many families will light the first candle of the Hanukkah menorah. So when receiving gifts is often the expectation, how can you teach your children a giving attitude during the holidays as well? We're rejoined here with Dr. Elizabeth Mead with Swedish Medical Center to offer uh, some more uh, insight on this. Uh, why is giving why is a giving attitude so important? You know, I think it's really easy for kids today to become sort of consumerized and get really focused on material things. And so teaching them about giving back to other people is something that's really going to set them up for lots of positives in their life, even as adults. Yeah, uh, this is something that I'm currently going through right now with yeah. my three children. I have a six-year-old, a four-year-old, one-year-old, you're still kind of like trying to get to <laughs> get to know yeah. uh, them. But for the six-year-old, definitely, you're trying to teach them thankfulness. So the mm -hmm. question to you is, how do you go about doing that? How do you teach them that? I think it's really important to do it all throughout the year. So if we just do it at the holidays, it's not going to mean so much yeah. and kids really aren't going to learn it. So look for oppor opportunities throughout the rest of the year where you can really talk to kids about giving back to other people, being grateful for what they have and kind of learning to appreciate what they have in their own life. Yeah. Is it difficult to teach them, uh, you know, when they're on the receiving end so much, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of kids, especially, you know, when you compare the kids here in the United States compared to maybe other kids yeah. throughout, you know, some uh, impoverished countries. I mean, you, you kind of take it for granted, right? But I mean, how do you, how do you teach that? I mean, when they're so used to receiving yeah. You know, I think it's great for kids to receive gifts, and yeah. it's one of the things we love most about the holidays is picking out gifts for our children. Right. But I think children will surprise you, and kids are really, really interested in helping other people and picking out gifts for other people, too. So I think at the holidays, when you're shopping for cousins that are similar ages or doing an adopt-a-family kind of thing, it's really important to have your children help you pick out the gifts. Mm. It really will teach them that joy of giving something to another person. Yeah, and, you know, guilty as charged. I mean, when I go into the line, you know, at the Target, or for example, yeah. and I say, hey, tell the checker thank you mm -hmm. or something. Does that teach them anything or is that just teaching them just manners at it's, that point? I think just saying thank you is often just manners and that's really important right. too. I like to teach kids to say thank you as part of a complete sentence because I think it makes it a lot more meaningful for them. Yeah. So it's not just a thank you. It's thank you for helping me today. Thank you for giving me this meal. Thank you for the sweater that I got. And making making it a sentence and having them need to think about what they're being thankful for yeah. really is more meaningful than just saying thanks. Yeah. Oh, you know, when we're so used to getting like material gifts as well. I mean, what, what are some ideas in terms of, you know, maybe thinking outside of the box? Maybe yeah. like volunteering? Is, volunteering that, yeah. is great. I think volunteering as a family is great and even little kids can really participate in that. And even like I said, picking out gifts for other people, even people they don't know. So adopting a family, doing a mystery gift for someone else oh, is, is really yeah, good. Yeah. Um, but I think also just sort of teaching kids that, um, that Giving is something, it's, it's not only important if it's acknowledged, that often a gift that's not acknowledged by someone else is just as meaningful, if not more meaningful. Yeah. Uh, from a parental standpoint, is it more difficult to teach the kids about thankfulness from being a single parent uh, as opposed to be, having two parents? No, I mean, is there a difference? I think it's or? just as easy. I think it's really about working it into your everyday life, like I said, throughout yeah. the year. So yeah. really taking those moments where you can show appreciation to someone else in front of your child. Kids pick up on a lot of things that yeah. adults do, and so we want to think about those positive things, not just the negative things. Yeah, they sure they sure do. Yeah. I mean, you'd be surprised. I mean, my six-year-old picks up on basically everything that I'm saying, and she kind of yeah. repeats it back. And I'm like, oh, don't don't say that. They understand <laughs> so much more than we think. So even when you think your kids aren't paying attention, right. having a conversation with your spouse or another family member about all the things you're thankful for about each other or about your life, yeah. kids will hear that and they'll really internalize it and kind of take it to heart. And it really shouldn't feel like forced, right? I mean, because we shouldn't. like when we talked about you know during the holidays, like during Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. oh, we need to say thank you, right. or during Christmas, we we should say thank you right. for receiving receiving this gift, but kind of making it like organic, right? Making it organic. Yeah. And again, I think that's a time where if you're doing it regularly and your kids are seeing that, mm -hmm. that's something that they internalize as this is just what we do, not this is something my parents are making me do, yeah. but that they don't do themselves. Yeah. One thing that I think is really nice for the whole year round is to sit down with your kids. So either dinner or bedtime or sometime where you're all together and talk about what the best part of your day was and for everyone to go around the table and yeah. say that. And I think it just works in little ways for kids to feel like, oh, this was something I was so happy about today or so thankful yeah. for. That's great. Great advice. Yeah. All right. Dr. Elizabeth Mead, thank you again. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Back to you.